Welcome to the Loveland Report and the Loner Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland, Central Florida's voice of real estate, alongside Bruce Woodburn, the Loner Ranger. Thanks for tuning in to get all of your real estate and mortgage news. We've got it for you. We're going to talk some numbers about where is inventory at, this crazy market. Is it still on fire? It's not a three-alarm fire, but it's, it's a good blaze. And where are the interest rates? What's going on with those? Has Sleepy Joe messed those up? And so we'll get into that in a minute. I want to talk about inventory first and numbers. And we talk about appreciation in real estate. And our average price in Central Florida a year ago was 325000 The average now is 386 That's an 18% increase year over year. Now, does that mean all of everybody's houses went up 18%? No. No, because some people might have not taken care of them. Some people at a million dollars, that's well, not some true. Some neighborhoods go up higher than others. Yeah. Yeah, but on the average. And then the median price, that's the most homes sold, is three thirty five. Right. That's always a little bit less than the right. average. Because you sell something for five million, it skews our average price. But three thirty five on a median price, that's up twenty two percent. So the important thing I think, Bruce, is don't be a renter. Don't be a renter. You're, you're gonna sure. get priced out with rates going up and prices going up, double whammy. And if you are gonna make a move, what I've got now, Bruce, inventory is so tight that the problem is I think there's a lot of people aren't listing because they don't know how to make make that move. And I'm gonna explain that process to you. There's all kinds of ways to do that. You can get them qualified without to buy without selling, right? Yes, I can. Or but provided they qualify without selling. Yeah, provided selling. they qualify. And if they don't, I can get them a lease back. Sure. For one, two, three, four, five weeks. Yeah, you Not can go hard. Up to you 60 set... days and still be a primary resident. Yep. And so I can um I can get the I can get the seller, you know, somebody and I just put that in the listing up front. And in this market you'll be able to do it because yep. when I sit down with sellers and I show them what's sold, usually there's about ten homes within a mile of them under contract. There's twenty that sold in the last three months. All those ones under contract sold in less than a month. Yeah. And then they've got, you know, there might be two or three actives. So this kind of market with low, low inventory, you're able to do that. And Loveland Properties, we coordinate that process all the time. What has happened to the interest rates this week? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you and I have been telling everybody this for quite some time. They're going to go up. We have the tapering of mortgage-backed securities being pulled back to almost zero. We've got looming uh, Fed increases, which yep. they delayed, but they're now going to move them up. Okay. okay. So we know we're going to get at least a quarter, could get a half a point increase. So the market's already positioning themselves or posturing themselves for that as well. And then we have inflation. Everybody, Nobody sees what it means by the tapering of the mortgage-backed securities and by, you know, they don't see all that stuff. But they sure as heck see inflation. And inflation is something that we're dealing with every single day. And because of all that and because of inflation, one of the ways to hedge against inf inflation is to raise the Fed rate, to raise interest rates, yep. to slow things down a little bit. Yep. Well, they are doing the best they can at doing that. Unfortunately, for many of my people, they still are in multiple offer situations. I've got a, a client right now. She's a veterinarian and she has been, she's made three offers and the houses are on the market for 350 and they're selling for 390. Yeah. So the, the market is still hot when it comes to that. And interest rates have gone up. There's been a couple of things that have really, really made some significant changes that I think will actually hurt the Florida market uh, more than most any other state, um, aside from the interest rates growing up. But we are seeing interest rates on, uh, on conventional loans uh, into the fours now. Uh -huh. Uh, very difficult to get into the threes anymore without seriously buying down some points. Yeah. Even if you're into the fours, you could be buying some points to get to that. 15 year are still attractive. They're now in the mid threes, the low threes. So 15 year mortgages are still extremely attractive. Always have been, uh, FHA you're up into the mid fours. Maybe even we're quickly approaching high fours and i wouldn't be surprised if by the end of february we're into the fives. Oh wow that. absolutely no question about it so all of these things looming is definitely taking a toll but i want to talk to you about something that i think has taken a lot of people by surprise because i watch the market and because i'm informed as to what's going on in the market i don't get so surprised about things that fannie mae and freddie mac are going to do now one of the things that is happening right now is they just raised the uh, loan level pricing adjustments, which are an indicator of what Fannie Mae does and Freddie Mac does to uh, mitigate risk. Mm -hmm. 
and they've raised them on second home purchases. Okay. So now it was where if you bought a second home and you were putting 10% down, your interest rate and cost was really close to a primary residence. Uh Not that far off. Yeah. Almost insignificant. If you put 20% down, it was almost identical. Yeah. Now it's between three and a half or four points higher okay. for a second home. Yep. So they made that adjustment, and here's why they made that adjustment, Cleve. How many people do you think come to Florida, get a mortgage as a second home because the interest rates are great, yep. and turn around and rent the home out? I'm sure that, it happens. It Does it happen? It happens so frequently that it costs the entire country four points. Oh, wow. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were saying, I'm done with this. Too many people are buying They're second homes and Mortgage cheating. fraud, yeah it's, yeah, yeah. it's completely mortgage fraud. If you if you buy a home as a vacation home that you intend on using and you turn around and rent it, that is mortgage fraud. And they can foreclose on you, and I've seen it happen twice. Yeah. But what happened is Fannie and Freddie were like, I'm done with this. We're just going to make second homes the same price as investment properties. Yeah, yeah. And that's Solves exactly what just yeah. happened. Well, and, and but the important thing pe- for people to think about is, okay, rates are higher. You can work with somebody on a credit score and work with somebody on their bills and go through what's happening with the, all that and check their pricing. So when they put an application in at webringyouhome.com, you can say, all right, guys, well, rates have gone up a little bit, so let's go ahead and get this car paid down in the next six months and pay it off. And you can tell them the things they need to do to qualify for more house or the same house that unfortunately Absolutely. they might not qualify Absolutely. for now. Absolutely. That's the important thing is to get the application and be sitting there and be ready. Well, and you know, it's funny because I want my clients to be fast tracked rather than just pre-approved. All lenders out there, what they do is they pre-qualify, pre-approve, meaning the pre-approval is a, is a validation of your income, assets, and credit. We've seen the documents. I want my clients to be as close to a cash buyer as they possibly can. So we fast track them. That's a full underwritten approval. When my clients are fast tracked, that means they've given me everything and I can fully underwrite the loan file. When they're fast tracked, I will make a guarantee to the seller. And you've, I do this with you. I do it with other real estate agents. I will call the listing agent. I will introduce myself to them and I will let them know that while they're Uh, weighing out the different contracts that they're seeing that I want to talk to him about my client and my client is not only fully approved, but I will pay the seller up to $500 a day for every day. I miss that closing on a 30 day or less close. I don't miss them. Uh, If you're listening to this realtors and you want a good lender, just call Bruce and his team. Um, I mean, I do a lot of transactions. You know how many lenders have called me to say that Bruce? Zero. I mean, like I've had that call. I know you call for our clients when they're fast tracked with you, but it's, it's just, it just doesn't happen. And that, that can put your offer way up towards the front or at least get you consideration. Absolutely. That's the frustrating part. You, you you don't want, you know, listen, you don't want the home process to be any more stressful than it may be for you. You want to eliminate stress. And generally uh, in most cases, It's the financing that becomes more stressful. You know that 80% of people that get a mortgage are dissatisfied with the mortgage company? 80% of people are dissatisfied with the mortgage company. And it's funny. And all those mortgage companies have the same process. You all need the same document. We all need the same document. It's just like your team has a great process of really getting the seller to understand why we need all this at once, not the The buyer death by a thousand cuts, the Chinese water torture. So, you know know what? And you know what? I, I have to... I struggle with with a, a process on that too because clients will look at you and go, why do you need all that right now? I haven't even found the house that I want to buy mm-hmm. yet. That's why I need it right now. Mm-hmm. So they will like, well, I called Bank of America and they only they pulled said, my good. credit yeah. <laughs> and I told them how much money I make and how much I have in the bank and they said I'm good to go and I they got wrote news me a letter. You. If, you're, if I'm the listing agent on your dream home and Bank of America is your lender, I'm not taking your offer. Or Wells. They, they can't or close Rocket. it. Yeah, whoever it is. Listen, Real estate agents know that these online companies and these big banks don't have all of the tools in place and the, and they don't train their people well enough to keep them out of hot water. I had a, I had a client not long ago. She worked for a company. Okay. And I won't mention the name of the bank, but it's the same name as my son's name. Mm -hmm. And she worked for them. She had been transferred from the bank in New York 
to a bank in Florida. Mm -hmm. She had relocated. They pre-approved her for financing and denied her loan the week before she was supposed to close. Now, she's an employee of this bank, okay? Insane. And so she calls me in a panic. She's like, I got your name from my real estate agent. I need you to help me. What's wrong? And I, I went, I looked at it and I went, what is wrong with this? I said, oh, I can see at one issue that may be a problem. You have a judgment for something that happened. It was, I don't know, some, something on a car or something. I forget what it was. So I said, pay the judgment off and you'll be fine. She goes, well, why didn't they just tell me that? I'm going up there this weekend. I'll just pay it off right at the court. I said, good. Show me evidence that it's paid off. Come back. Two weeks later, I closed her loan. Awesome. So phone numbers real quick. 407-250-9144 for the loan arranger. That's 407-250-9144 or webringyouhome.com. And for Central Florida's best real estate team, call Loveland Properties. If you need to sell a house, buy a house, coordinate that process or manage rental property, we can do that. 407-352-8118. How much time we got? Well, we've got about uh, three and a half okay, minutes, good. so right. we got time. No, I just wanted to, and, and so I'm sorry I interrupted you there on that. I just wanted to give out the numbers because I'm getting text messages, um, and I just got some emails um, asking for that from people listening. Well, you know, people are sitting, and I like to address the elephant in the room. People are a little uneasy right now because they see that rates are going up. They see that it's getting harder and harder. Mm-hmm. They see that they're still, the, the, they keep thinking, I'm going to put it off so the market softens up. I'm going to tell you right now, all you folks out there, whether you own a home or you want to buy a home or you know anybody that's renting, if you wait because you don't like the way things are today, you're going to like them a ton worse yeah. if you wait. It's just not going to get better yep. anytime soon. We're not going to see easing of inflation. You're going to see rising of interest rates. And I'm, I get asked every day, where do you think interest rates are going? I think we'll be in the mid fives by the end of the year, if not higher. I think so. I think by next year, this time, we probably will be in the sixes or you sevens. I think it's going to go that bad. I really do. Wow. I don't think there's any way for us to stop the inflation until we raise interest rates. And if you go back to Carter administration well, yeah, and you wouldn't... see what happened during Carter administration, when inflation was through the roof yep. okay right now they say it's nine percent i think it's probably 29 yeah. percent but they say it's nine percent yep. i in carter years i think it was 37 percent holy crud reagan got into office cleaned it right up bang we're back in business again all right so i know what could happen so reaganomics but we got, baby but we, reaganomics. Got, but we got two 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 and a half years before that something like we get good news like that on a change in administrations. But one thing about the market, even though prices go up and things might slow down or interest rates are higher, Central Florida, Florida is going to keep moving up as a more expensive state in just in a, as a whole in the country. Right. We're number 20. I think we're moving to number 14, 15, 16. Our population... As, as far as price point goes, yes, you mean? Yes, But po- uh, population in Central Florida is projected to hit 3 million in about five years. And... Single family homes being built and multifamily apartment starts. Um, even though 21, I mean, even with COVID in 21, the starts were up 20%. And this year they're going to be up about another 2%. And they're projecting 2023. They can do this from the, the permits pulled and things like that and land purchase and everything and planning. Um, and then they're back down. Uh, but they're still 5% higher in 23 than they were in 19 and well, of in 2019 course. and 20. And, and we got the report out last week, week before last, it may have been now, that the top 10 cities <laughs> to buy in in America. And we have top three of them. Top 10. Number one, Tampa. Number two, Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Number nine, Orlando. Yep. Now, so if you're listening to this radio show, you're within the number ninth city within the United States of America. What a great place to live things are just going to keep getting higher if you own property you're going to make a lot of money in your real estate i've been telling people i think in 15 years our houses will be double the price just go back and look at santa monica you know look at cities like that van nuys places that are outside the core of los angeles and see what their houses did come on you can't buy a condo there for under seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. well so i don't don't think we'll we'll have those kind of 
high, high prices you see in California, but we're going we're gonna to move to more expensive status. More people come All right, here. give them your number. 407-352-8118 or lovelandreport.com. And if you'd like to reach the Loan Arranger or apply online for a mortgage, you can go to my website at webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. Uh, or you can call me at 407 250 Four four. We'll be back in five minutes. And we are back on Central Florida's, actually the world's longest running radio show. Been doing this over twenty five years, Bruce. I don't know anybody else doing it longer. I think anybody you've out got there the has, record. If anybody else out there knows anybody, give me a call. Um, I'd like to check that out. But anyway, I've got some listings this week. I like to give people an idea of what's on the market, and I've got. Gosh, I've got I've got 30 listings, but they're all under contract. But I've got three coming up here. I've got one in Kings Ridge, the over 55 and better community. Okay. In uh, Claremont, 275000 for a 2-2. Two, two. Um, needs a little updating, but great buy. There's hardly anything on the market there. I've got this. Listen up, folks. I've got a starter home or a downsize home in Castleberry. This house was totally renovated and redone, and then the owners had to go into assisted living. It's two, three bedrooms, one and a half baths, but... An easy, easy conversion. I talked to a contractor. Easy conversion to make it a th- two full baths. One car garage in Castleberry. No HOA. Two hundred eighty-five thousand. So if you'd like to take a look at any of those, give me a call. And then good I got schools some, there too. Yeah, yeah, Seminole County schools. I've got some great new communities here, and I've got a uh, Riverbend, big resort style community with big uh, water complex and fitness center. Homes there from three hundred sixty thousand. New neighborhood. This is a hot new neighborhood. You want to make the most money on a house? Go in before the builder even starts. If you've got time to wait. Lake Apopka Sound, lakefront homes on Lake Apopka from eight hundred thousand. Um, starter homes in that neighborhood. Well, starter homes, the, the entry level homes in that neighborhood are four hundred thousand. Great location in Winter Garden. Um, must be one of the last pieces. of we'll land We'll be saying there. that on a regular basis yeah, before you one know. Of the last it. piece of the land, and then I've got um, also our good friend Larry with Hanover Family Builders has a new community in Groveland, just off the Turnpike in twenty seven, about two miles south on nineteen in Groveland. Um, great location to the city. And he's going to start there like around, I think he said he starts around 310 for a four bedroom. Um, That's not possible. No, he said, he said that he was. Have they broken ground on anything yet? The model is done, I think. And he's taking, okay. he's taking, taking entry. So you have any questions and you know, and you work, I work you're, with Larry. Your Hanover's, well. Hanover's lender. Um, they've got stuff happening all over town. Yeah. They've done a really good job of acquiring great land and great places to build. So, yeah, so Hanover was purchased by a company called Land Sea Homes out of California. So, we don't know whether they're going to keep me on as their lender or not. So, Tell I'm going that. to have all of you listeners out there contact the people at Land Sea Homes <laughs> to let them know yeah. that they'd be making a huge mistake to remove the loan arranger yep. from the Hanover Family Builder Homes. So, I don't know if that's their intention or not. But they're from California, and they don't know who I am so much. Okay? You're not, you're not, they, they should. They, they should, should know they who should I know. am. All right. So if you have any questions for Cleve, you can reach but him at any, 407-352-8118. That's 407-352-8118. Or the loan arranger at 407-250-9144. Or webringyouhome.com. Let me ask you, Bruce, about the luxury market. Um, yes. I've got a couple of listings coming up, one to three million. And... That price point probably going to be a jumbo loan. Yes, but more than likely, unless you you're, those you're rates, all your jumbo if you're over uh, six forty seven. Yeah, so you got you know over three hundred grand down, you're in the jumbos um, above above eight hundred thousand. But those rates up also. They're up, but they're still very attractive. And in most, in many cases, I have lower rates on jumbos than I do on conforming rates. Oh wow! Many cases. Matter of fact, uh, my jumbo rates, uh, I I will rival anybody. I'm telling you that my jumbo products are second to the none. Now, 20% down jumbo products, you can still get rates easily in the threes, in some cases in the low to mid threes. Now, but here's what I've got for all the folks out there listening right now that want to buy a house and need a mortgage of a million five mm-hmm. or less. Three and a half percent down, no PMI. You heard me. Three and a half percent down. My brain, no PMI. Know, it and sounds listen, like an FHA The rates loan. are not yeah. in the sixes or sevens. Yeah. The rates are in the fours. Oh wow! So listen, here's the thing: if you could even get PMI on a three and a half percent jumbo, which you can't, if you even could, 
It'd be you're six, paying, 700 bucks a month. You're, it'd be more than that. It'd wow. be $900 a month for Good that. Good Lord. Yeah. Because you've, you've got to figure your PMI is going to be about 1.25% per year divided oh by gosh. 12 months uh, on that much house. It's huge. Well, I tell people that all the time. Cross Country has the best products out there. And it's funny. Whenever I talk to any other lender from any other company, they always say, I've got great products. And then I ask them, like, well, do you have this? Bruce has that. Do you have this? Bruce has that. Do you have jumbos at 3.5% down? Bruce has that. Yeah. And they just give me this look, and I'm like, you need to call Bruce and go get a job with Bruce. That's right. So. That's right. So, uh, And we are always interviewing for talent. Uh, so if that is something you're looking for, you got to give me a call or text me at 407 250 So uh, we will be back. Oh, wait a minute. Are we on the – we're on the uh, – we're on the five minute right now, right? Yep. Okay. Well, we went a little bit over. We'll be back in five minutes. With more of the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Radio Show. Welcome back to the Cleve Loveland Loveland Report and Lone Ranger Show, bringing you all the real estate and mortgage news every Saturday, as I've been doing for over 25 years. Thanks for tuning in. I want to talk this segment about we've got some things to help you. I talk to people, Bruce, about real estate planning. You know, most people have an estate planner, mm-hmm. financial planner. Yep. I can be your real estate planner. If you want to think about you're in a great house right now, and you know you're over five, ten, seven years, your income's going to grow, I can help you project out what your house is probably going to be worth and what that new home is going to cost. You want your dream home down the street in this one subdivision you drove past or you rode your bike past when you were a little kid thinking, I want to live in there because that's where all the rich guys are. I can help you with that. If you've got, you want to have 10 rental properties, Paying you twenty thousand dollars a month, we got a class coming up on that. We do. We have one coming up. I believe it's on the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth at six p.m. Zoom home. class. Go to webringyouhome.com. We teach you how to do that. And so, leapfrog. so this is different than our leapfrog program. This is different than our wealth building program. We will integrate some of those philosophies into it. But what we're really talking about is how to get into real estate. This is not a first-time homebuyer class. Yep. It's a home buyer class. So if you are a first-time home buyer, you should 100% attend this class. Yep. If you know anybody that's renting and you don't get them into this class, big mistake. Yep. Big mistake. But you don't have to be a first-time home buyer because we are going to talk about how you can generate more income that is generational income mm-hmm. by investing in real estate yep. and do it with the least amount of money out of pocket. So that's what this class is going to be. We're going to show you how to do that, all the steps, all the tricks. And then uh, uh, I can promise you that if you know anybody that's renting, they will get a lot out of this class. If you know anybody that wants to buy multiple properties and just does not have the finances to be able to come up with 20, 25% to put down on a $300,000 yeah. property, yeah. You, then let me show you how to do that. Yeah, we'll we we'll do show that. you how to do that. One of the best things out there I usually think I help people with is getting into, I, I got an article here from Fox News about how the worst house on the block in San Francisco just sold. You know what it sold for? Two million. It was a fixer upper. I mean, it's on a, a street of four and five. It's million a tear down. Homes. Yeah, it's a tear. And not, well, it wasn't a tear down. They said, but it said it was just such bad shape. It's got good bones. Anyway, it just cracked me up. It'll probably be, it'll be its own. It'll have its own TV series on how they fix it up. You know, glamorous life of the West Coast. But I just think that you know, buying the worst house in the best neighborhood, or buying the smallest, smaller home, not the smallest, maybe, but the smaller homes. Don't go into a neighborhood and be the white elephant on the corner and, and say and tell the builder, well, I really want six thousand square feet. I know forty five hundred is your biggest one. That's a sure way to diminish your return. Not that well, you won't make money. Well, and it'll never appraise. Yeah, that too. Yeah, so it's just, you know, we help people with that all the time. I had somebody checking on a house, and when I pulled up the neighborhood, the house sounded too good to be true. I'm like, it was. It was the wrong side of the tracks, and it was just, it was just and it was a unicorn. It was, it was 5,000 square feet when all the other homes around it were 2,000. And oddball stuff like that, you want to be odd? Have funky artwork. Paint the walls a different yeah, color, but don't build a whole different type of home. That's true. Don't that's put true. a geodesic dome in the middle of a nice neighborhood. I'm sure the HOA will have a fit with that anyway. So, Cleve, if people want to get a hold of you, there's an easy phone number. Write this down, 407-352-8118. That's 407-352-8118. If you'd like to talk to the loan arranger or would like to get a great mortgage, I've got everything, every loan program that you could think of. The only thing I don't do is lot loans and commercial loans. Everything else... I think I got it. And I've got the best products. I'm a national lender. I'm in all 50 states. So, you know, and you got me right here in Central Florida. Living, working right here in 
Winter Park, Florida at I-4 in Fairbanks, 407-250-9144. That's 407-250-9144. Or go to my website and apply online at webringyouhome.com. If you're out there and you want to get into, uh, and you're in the mortgage business and you're looking for a new home, I'm seeing a lot of lenders ship uh, jump and ship right now. Mm -hmm. They're coming over to me. Come on over to me. I've got some opportunities. If you are really good, high ethics and high work ethic, I'm interested. It's a place you want to be. I'm also hiring, uh, might be hiring one more agent this year, the right person, the right fit to grow our team. Uh, but it amazes me, Bruce, when I, I talk to people and I'm like, how many home, how many families have you helped in the past two years? And they look at me with these big eyes and like, none. I didn't sell anything because of COVID. I'm like, okay, not the right place to be. No. I want go-getters. I want people that are hungry and people that want to work. Well, the good realtors actually broke records during COVID. Yeah. The 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 rest of them complained about COVID and wondered why they didn't sell anything. Exactly. Exactly. So, but you know what? That's the same in any in any sales. We've got ten minutes. Left okay. Or so nine minutes. What I want to go into, um, I, I just think the main thing out there I'm seeing, especially when it comes to investment property, we're going to teach you how to have a couple of investment properties. We can do that. And but what I see is when people get to up in their years, they get in their seventies, they want to kind of move away from that, get their money over to their planner. Um, I can help you with that. I got a gentleman that has like 15 properties in uh, Orlando and he's retired. He sold his business and he's ready to just kind of simplify. And I said, well, talk to your planner. I said, why don't we sell one or two properties a year? We'll get rid of the dogs first along with some tax planning. And I help people lay that out. Sure. I've had some people come to me going, we want to sell it all. I'm like, well, I, you know, what's talk, talk to these other professionals too, before you make a, a you know, a rash decision. And we come back with a plan, but I can help people set up that plan. Like I said, you want one house, you want 10 houses paying you 20000 a month, or you want one big property paying 20000 a month, right? or is it time to move that money over to the financial planner? Yes. And I help people do that all the time. Well, and that's what we do. We, we try to guide our clients in the right direction so that they can accumulate wealth. So I, Cleve, I wanted to talk about a class that I'm going to be doing, and I came up with this class with my wife. We had a situation where... Um, uh, I have a I have a cousin. She's in her seventies, and she had a daughter that lived at home with her that um, uh, struggled. And so my cousin had set up her estate that if she passes, her daughter would get the house, and things would she'd be taken care of for life. Now, as fate would have it, life takes turns, and although my cousin had prepared for this. She did not prepare that her daughter would go first. So on Christmas Eve, she lost her daughter. I remember when you said that, yeah. Okay. And so everything changed. And so now she's looking at redoing her will and trust and leaving her assets to her five grandchildren. But her five grandchildren, for the most part, other than one of them, really have not been led in the right direction. They don't have a lot of direction on establishing credit. They were homeschooled, but really not even homeschooled. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they, don't, they don't have what it takes to really uh, uh, be driven and excel in life. Well, they want to leave a legacy for those people to help them for their whole life, so not just be I gone in a year. Here's yeah. what I told her. I said, why don't we set up your estate so that they each get 20% of your estate, but that has to be used to buy a home. She goes, well, what if they can never buy a home? If you had $35,000 dangling in front of you that said you have to figure out how to mm -hmm. buy a home yep. or you don't get the money, you're going to figure out how to buy a home. <laughs> and that's where cousin Bruce will come in and I'll help, help guide him in the right direction. But my wife and I, Michelle, were thinking about this. and We went, how many people out there don't have the direction? So I'm putting together a class that are things I wish somebody told me. Yep. For those of you that may have children or grandchildren, or maybe it's you listening to this show, that you didn't, nobody taught you how to balance a checkbook. Nobody yep. taught you how to open a credit card. Nobody taught you how to manage credit. Nobody taught you how to get the best credit scores. Nobody told you how to save money for a down payment on a house. All of these things came and hit me right in the forehead. And it's funny because as I looked at this, I, I looked at, do you know that renting perpetuates poverty? Yeah. It is, enslaves you into it. And as rents go up 20% last year, 20% predicted to go up this year, you will be enslaved into that rent. You will not be able to get yeah. out of it because you won't have any money to buy a home. Yep. 
where home ownership perpetuates wealth. You will build wealth by owning homes without even trying. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to really try. Yep. It's going into your equity bank every time. So I'm going to put on a class on April the 13th, but I'm list looking for folks out there that will help me find kids from 15 years old because I'm going to start them learning how to balance a checkbook, open an account, so that when they come out of college or out of high school, they know, they already are starting to establish credit. I'm going to yep. get them started early. The things that nobody helped them with. And then all the way up to 35 years old. So you know anybody that's renting, you know somebody that needs that guidance, that they have not had that, I'm going to volunteer for the job. Okay, so all you got to do is go to my website at webringyouhome.com and register for my outreach class on April the 13th at 6 p.m. webringyouhome.com, April the 16th at 6 p.m. I want to help kids that don't have any direction. And I'm talking about kids and young adults. They weren't taught this. I'm going to fix that problem one kid at a time. But I need preachers, deacons, pastors, youth group uh, folks to help guide these people to this class. And I want to change some lives. That's great. That. Yeah, because yeah, they don't get it in school. They don't get it in school. And some people aren't getting it at home. So, you know, I'm happy to yell at your kid. And, you know, I don't know about your kid, but... My kids don't listen to me, but they'll listen to a stranger, right? <laughs> so maybe I can help you. Maybe you're in the same boat as I'm in. Just go to my website at webringyouhome.com. Or if you fall into that category where you know youth that need some direction, then you get them into my class right away. I only have 100 seats available. That's April 13th at 6 p.m. So that's, what I've, that's one of the projects I've put on my plate. And uh, by the way, this weekend... I'm in, um, well, I actually, I was there Friday and Saturday. I'm in a teaching uh, educators in Jacksonville on, at the uh, teachers union on how to save money buying a home. So you and I are committed to helping teachers, law enforcement, first responders. Call Cleve. He can help you get the process started. I can help you get qualified for mortgage and save money. Call Cleve at 407-352-8118, 407-352-8118, or The Loan Arranger at 407-250-9144, or webringyouhome.com. And Cleve Loveland, oh, you already gave mine. I gave your number twice. What do we got? All right. Um, I do want to talk about getting a house ready to sell. I've got a 50 point checklist. I've, I went to somebody's house the other day and they thought they needed to redo floors and, and a whole paint job and everything. But the way the, the house was so nice, they didn't need to do a thing. And it wasn't brand new, but it was, it was, it was a, a, a condition. It wasn't a plus, but it was a right. condition. And when I showed them what was out there, but then we talked and, and the main thing is they didn't know where they were going yet. So we're not going, they can buy without selling. So they're going to get fast tracked with you. And we're going to find them that house. And I can probably have theirs under contract before they even move in the new home, but they'll have that flexibility. So, but the process is so hard and daunting. And th this is the hardest market I've seen. If you are going to sell and buy another one, it's, it's, it can be tough, especially if you can't qualify Absolutely. to buy the other one without selling, you need your cash out of your house, but there's a couple ways to do it. And we've done it. Like most of my sales last year, I don't think I had anybody take a contract contingent on a closing which is a they're not market. not very often but you know something here's the thing and you and i can talk a little bit about this in the next segment as we wrap things up but everybody's in that struggle right now where nobody will accept their offer because they don't have their house sold but they don't want to sell their house because then what if they can't find a house because they're in a multiple offer situation it's the old it's the it's the chicken it's keeping, and the egg it's keeping our inventory tight too i bet you there'd be another 1500 2000 listings if we weren't that tight Right. And it should loosen up. So, but we hope, and that we hope that'll happen. Keep an eye on things. Don't delay. Interest rates are going up. They're going to continue to rise. I'm not expecting them to go down at all. Every day I come in, the bond market's been off. Today it started actually up 19 points, which usually would be flat, but I'm looking at it. at least it's not down. Right. Yeah. So, but you, listen, expect interest rates are going to continue to rise. But you know what? My, my new client leads we're up by 10% in January. That's I'm good. not, I haven't analyzed them yet for February as to where I'm sitting month to date, but new leads are up. I've got a handful, uh, a handful. I've got 145 handful of clients that are sitting in my pipeline right now, fully pre-approved trying Waiting to buy for houses, trying yep. to buy a home. Yep. 
Yeah. So uh, we will help guide you in that direction. Call Cleve at 407-352-8118 or the Loan Arranger at 407 407- Two five zero nine one four four, or we bring you home.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in five minutes with more of the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Radio Show. And we are back. I am Cleve Loveland alongside Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Ranger, giving you all of your real estate and mortgage news. Hope you're having a great weekend with this beautiful weather. And just want to talk a little bit about. Believe it or not, even in this hot market, Bruce, about 10% of the homes out there don't sell. Well, there's, there's, there's a people, reason for that. Well, and, it, and usually it's, it's not always price. Usually no. it's bad marketing, uh, bad access, bad advice, not enough work. Well, if you um, were going to put your house on the market and you said, I don't want a lockbox on my house, and I don't want people coming through unless I'm there, that would be a first problem. Stuff like that. Or you've got three Rottweilers and they can't come in except right. on Friday from 4 to 8. That's gonna You're just shooting yourself in and the foot. And people say that. They're like, well, I have these limitations. Well, if you have those limitations, that's fine. You just can't expect that you're going to sell. Call one of the big iBuyer companies and they'll give you 70% of your value right now yep. if you don't want to do those things. Because it's not a big deal to clean up a house and declutter. It just takes a little bit of time, but it's sweat equity. But usually that's where I see people make the most money, Bruce, is getting the house ready. Absolutely. But access is one thing. You know, I've never had a security issue, knock on wood. I've never had somebody ransack a house. You know, when a realtor comes through using an electronic lockbox, it tells me that Bob was there at 1 o'clock. So if there's a muddy footprint on the carpet, I know it was Bob. Absolutely. You know, and I've never I mean, I've had that happen. But as soon as that happens, we but allowing access, you want as many. This is how the MLS works. As many buyers through the front door, and the realtor's got the buyers in their car. There's no fancy website that has the buyers. There's no investor in another state that's going to give you more money than everybody else does. It's just that's where they're at in the MLS. So you want as much access and open access to that as possible. And I've even gone further in this market. I've got my market maker program, Bruce, where I know how to generate multiple offers and more of them because I systematize the effort. A lot of realtors get multiple offers on their properties, and they say, oh, wait, hang on. All right, everybody's got till noon tomorrow. And so the house has like two, three days on the market. I know the exact amount of time to have it on the market and tell everybody right when it starts, all offers in by Monday at 9 a.m. Right. And, and I've systematized the process. Now, what am I doing in that time when I get offers? I'm talking to those agents, calling them and asking them about their offer and saying, are they fast-tracked? Is it a loan? Right. Where are they from? Is this the fifth offer? You've had them in your car for 18 months. They haven't bought anything yet? Or what's their motivation? Absolutely. I'll ask all these questions. That's my job for my sellers to make my sellers as much money as possible with well, the right Cleve's offer. the guy when it comes, if you want honest professional advice that you, and you really are motivated to sell your home or you, and, and, or you want to just find out what the true value is, because I got people going to Zillow and then they come to me and they say, this is what my house is worth. And then appraisal comes in at $60,000 under that. Uh-huh. They seem surprised because those Zillow reports take a surrounding area and you know they'll combine the lakefront homes in with the non-lakefront yeah, homes a, you want a realtor you're looking at mls and looking at similar products and you want just want that real world experience you can't get that from an algorithm i'm sorry i don't know you can't get it from an algorithm it, it really doesn't work that way so call cleave at 407-352-8118 407-352-8118 or loveland report loveland.com or Loveland, Cleve Love, Loveland.com. Either way, I got that back from the Russians. You got them all. Ago. You got them all, right? But anyway, if anybody out there wants to go, I've got a client appreciation. If I've worked with you in the past, we've got a client appreciation movie night this Tuesday showing Uncharted, uh, Mark Wahlberg, Tom Holland movie. Should be a good crowd. It's going to be a lot of Call fun. Call my office at 407-352-8118. We'd love to see you there. And thanks for tuning in to the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Show. That's right. And don't forget about my uh, Cleve and Ives class on the 24th, which is a Realty Mastery. Uh, uh, for anybody that wants to buy a home or already owns a home and wants to buy more property or my outreach program for young adults that don't know how to balance a checkbook and establish credit, I'm going to give them all the tools they need. Uh, that is my charity. And don't forget, I am committed to helping the most first time home buyers I've ever helped in any one year. Call me at 407 250 Nine one four four. That's four zero seven two five zero nine one four four. Or we bring you home dot com. Have an amazing weekend, and don't forget to tune into my show tomorrow, tomorrow at eleven a.m. See you then.